So look what's arrived today at Cool Toys. It's a Connex Pro Sight HD. So we've got one ripped out of box here. And I'll just give you a quick look at everything we've got. We've got the ground station, some nice stickers for the box, a mount, XT60 adapter, HDMI to HDMI mini, OTG cable, antennas, screws and mounts, camera mounts and fixings, and all important, Camera. We'll have a look at that in a bit. And the VTX and antenna. So the VTX is pretty big. And here's a standard knees. Yeah. Nearly twice the size. VTX, three times the size, fat shot VTX, not that much bigger, but certainly considerably bigger than everyone you guys have been used to. So the camera, very interesting, supplied in a rubber mount. That's good. Hopefully that can take a bit of abuse. Connector on the back. Little swivel. So you can set that up. You can hang it upside down. Or you can mount it. Now it's on these little rubber balls. Suck up some of the jello. And then the same sort of system as the Phantom uses with the uh, you know, these little clips that stop the balls getting ripped out. Not sure how strong that'll be. Obviously, you're going to have to make sure there's holes in the frame to suit that. So, the anticipated antenna that at first thought, everyone thought was huge, but... Set that side by side on a fat shark. It is the actually any bigger. So that's good. Plus it sits at an angle. And it's on a rubber mount, so I'm quite happy with that for a design. Obviously it's got two antennas and they're clipping on the surface. I've to put one of these in and they are tough. So all in all the unit is quite thin but if you add these antennas on it then you do need a fair bit of space. Let's get the calipers on it and see. So, you need 13.6mm to clear the VTX and the antenna clips. So, camera, needs to be you know, approximately 60-70mm from the VTX. These plugs I don't know how many pins I've got, but they've got a lot of pins, so you're going to have to use that. So you're going to have to keep that within 70-ish mil from the board. So power in.
power out video USB and the actual unit is just over 7 mil but you know those antennas do add quite a bit so the ground station it's got the power in lead going to an XT60 USB HDMI and then the five receivers switch wise we've got next select menu and record don't need to see any more of that and stand by standard antennas so will it fit in your machine this is our Midge 180 which it's not going to fit in but just to give you an idea it's taken up a lot of space but you could maybe shoehorn it in I think most people are going to be fitting these things on the bottom like that Bottom of the top plate, I think, is a sensible place. It's just too big to go in the bottom. It's just going to affect all your flight controller holes and PDB and everything else. So, you know, I think we'll mount this on the top, on the bottom of the top plate. I don't think it's going into 180s. And... It's an expensive unit to be mounting it up top. I think it's best underneath. So, camera. It does look a bit bigger, but in comparison to your Fox ERHS1177 Amway. You know, it is they much bigger. It looks bigger because I've encased it in the rubber. So hopefully that'll work well. For the VTX, it comes in these little steel standoffs. And there's a nice little diagram here telling you how to put it together, which is pretty straightforward. So I think that's enough for now, in stock at Cool Toys.